Good morning. Um, apologies if we're a little bit rusty today, Amy and I have just been saying we've not done one of these for a while, but this is a video. Hello. Um, I'm also a bit croaky and I am liable to have a coughing fit at any moment. Um, I seem to develop a fab summer cold and can't quite shift it. But very exciting today because we've got these. This is the Shape Years Ubuntu Cal Kit, which I've, we've had on pre-sale for quite a while, but the official launch day is today, so you can buy your kit from today. Now, I've seen pictures of the project, but we've not actually been in any of the kit boxes, so we thought we'd have a look today with you guys, and we can all share it together. So the kit comes in three sizes, and this is the smallest. This one retails at £36. Now, I know this is in Cotton 8, which I've used before. Oh, might actually have to... Um, right, I'm actually going to have to get something to open these. Ta-da! I've got scissors now. We told you we'd not, we were a bit rusty on these videos. We'd not thought this through. So I'm going to open it very carefully, I think, if it's going to open. Ooh. There we go. Now, the Ubuntu Cal was designed by Deirdre from Look at What I've Made, which is, she does the most fabulous stuff. I don't know if you remember, I did a Sophie's Universe, which was her last crochet along three years ago. I made it last year. So, let's open the box. Dun, dun, dun. Wow, right, there are, oh, this is nice, a little Ubuntu postcard, oh, with an introduction by Deirdre on it, uh, welcoming us to the Cal, and let's have a look, Ubuntu, I mean, basically, Ubuntu means kindness, humanity, compassion, etc., which is why, if you look, the, she's got, uh, if you look at the pictures of it, these are uh, diamonds that come together in different colours and it's really, it is really beautiful but let's have a look. So you get your little postcard from Deirdre. Oh, oh that's nice. Shape Years After Parties which are their patterns. They release a new one of these every two weeks and there's some fabulous patterns and they're only a pound which I always think is amazing because it's a, you don't have to think about whether you're going to buy it or not because we've all got hundreds of patterns at home I'm sure that we've bought and never made. And then you get a free pattern for the Indigo Shrug. Now you get two of the same pattern, however, one's in Dutch and one's in English. This has been the most phenomenal pattern. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Then, oh, nice little shapeless bag with, I think they will be blocking pins, I think, or stitch markers. A couple of little, ah, they're little stitch markers. A button to go on it, which I think goes in the middle, and then your official Ubuntu label. Ooh, and then a bag of cotton eight. Now, I love cotton eight. It's a four-ply cotton. Look at all these colours, uh, which I used in the Sophie. I'll try and just get one of every colour out so we can have a... Do you know what? People are going to kill me later because this will all need putting back together, won't it? Get you one of every... Oh, that's a nice bright yellow. So it gives you an idea of the colours of the project. I think that's one of everything. Isn't that a beautiful stony colour? But the cotton eight is really, really lovely. Like I say, I used it. It is very fine. I like fine yarns, though, and I found this crocheted beautifully, and I really enjoyed using it for my Sophie. Uh, this is the small kit. This makes the small blanket. The pattern is the same, regardless of whether you're making the small, medium, or large. It's just the different thicknesses of yarn. Slide that over there, and get onto the medium one. Now, I'm excited about this one because I think this is the one I'm going to make. Um, as you know, I can't resist a cal, and I this is in the stone wash which I've used before, and I really, really like it. Um, I don't like I don't like crocheting anything too chunky. That's just my own personal preference. Let me get this sleeve up. Oh, you look on the back of here. Let's see, there's little pictures there, but the pictures are available online now to look at the cal. But this is the pictures of this one, and this one retails for ninety eight pounds. So you've got that one at 36, this one at 98. Let's see. Ooh, dun, dun, dun. I'm open it this way so you get the full reveal. Oh, I love the branded boxes, aren't they beautiful? You ready? Dun, dun, dun. Ooh. So, again, you get the postcard from Deirdre, which is lovely. Two indigo shrug patterns, again, one Dutch and one UK. And then a booklet showing you all the yarn after parties. Ooh, now this one you get something different. Which is a free gift. And this is to make friendship bracelets. 
Again, following the theme of the Ubuntu to show kindness and compassion and friendship to others. So let's see what is in this. Oh, that's nice. Sorry, I sounded like um, who was the actor? <laughs> Used to be on the Carry On films, Kenneth Williams. Then sorry, I do distract myself. So this has still has the label in. It has the little rose gold stitch markers that we've just seen. It has, oh, some nice wire. Oh, look at all these little pots of beads. Can you see, look at those colours. So this is a friendship making loom, I believe. More will come to light when the patterns are released. So you've got, that is a really nice little gift. So I'm guessing you make it on these threads. It's like a little mini loom. Wow. And then again, the little button be someone's rainbow. That's, oh, there's the bracelet fastenings. That's a really nice little kit. I love that. Mm. The only problem I'm going to have is keeping it away from the kids, I think, because once they see that, they'll think it'd be something for them. So that's your free gift in there. I do, I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed with that. Right, then this is the colours of the stone washed. So beautiful bright pink, the cream, lilac, lovely sunshine yellow that which I, I'd, I'd love that type of colour anyway there you go the turquoise and the lime green so that will be the colours of all your blankets so your six diamonds will go a bit yeah we'll go a bit like that with your cream round and then a border but I love this it is so soft and it is a real delight to crochet with it's a mixture of cotton and acrylic 78% cotton and you can really feel it's nice and cool when you but it's got that nice almost haze on it it's spray dyed, which you can probably see better on there. Um, so the colours aren't quite as solid as they are on the cotton eight. So like I said, I think this is the one I'm going to make, just because I know I really, really love this yarn. Okay, let's take a look at the large kit. Now this weighs a ton. It might take me a minute to get it out of the sleeve. Sorry, Amy, I've put that right in your way. But yeah, this might take me a while because <laughs> it's dead heavy. There you go. So this is the large kit, this is the biggest one, this is in, well, I don't know if I can get this off, Stonewashed XL, and that one retails for, I need to check, £189. Um, the Stonewashed XL is lovely, as I said, Stonewashed I do love, I'm not a lover of, cr of crocheting anything too chunky though, which is why I've gone for the normal Stonewash, but this is a combination of Riverwashed XL and Stonewashed XL, let's have a look. Oh, it's not, I've got that completely wrong, it's just River Washed XL. Sorry. <laughs> Told you I've not looked in these boxes before. So, in here again, postcard. That is the uh, list of all the after parties. Two indigo shrug patterns, and then the bead weaving kit, which we've just looked at, and then this. Oh, look at these colours. The river washed is exactly the same composition as a stone wash, so it is 70% cotton, 30% acrylic. Again, it feels gorgeous. If you see, it's the main green and then it's got the ha a haze of almost yellow around it on that one. They all have a little haze on. So they've got the green, red. Oh, look at that colour. That is really beautiful, the blue and purple. It's got more of a greyish tone around it, this one, so... Oh, it is. It's stonewashed as well. Told you this could be a... Yeah, not, not really been through this before. I think I'm proving the point now. Because there is stonewashed in it as well. Where's the other colours? Oh, that one's nice as well. That's almost got a neon behind it. And what else is in here? Lots and lots of jeepers. There is lots and lots of yarn in this. Beautiful orange. Oh, look at all this. Oh... Do you know it's daft, isn't it? I shouldn't get this giddy over something. We've got one well, surrounded by yarn every day, but this is really lovely. This is going to crochet a really, really substantial blanket. It'll have a great weight to it in this one as well. But say the river washed, oh, it feels lovely and soft. It'd be really snuggly. Um, so that's it. That is the three boxes. <laughs>